Well, the Summer X Games are underway at U.S. Bank Stadium. Yeah, but it's not just the athletes who are giving it their all this weekend. Fans also have the chance to see what they're capable of. Our very own John Lordson checked out the fan experience at the X Games, and what he found had him trying to keep his feet on the ground. John explains how fans are getting blown away at U.S. Bank Stadium. It's really cool. From bikes to boards, the X Games offer a little something for everyone. Um, everything. Everything. Skateboarding. Skateboarding, yeah. But as part of the fan experience, if you don't want to get vertical, you can get horizontal. This is a wind tunnel. It's 55 feet long, and it has winds that get up to 65 miles per hour. Operated by a 100 horsepower motor, it really is designed to blow you away. You're just trying to get as far as possible. How far did you get on this? Not very far. <laughs> And this fan was used in the movie Twister. Yes, it was used in the movie Twister. That's comforting to know. They hook you up with a harness, a parachute, elbow, and knee pads. You know it's bad news when there are earplugs and goggles and a helmet yeah. and everything else. You guys mean business, that's for sure. <laughs> Just put me in bubble wrap and we'll call it good. Staying low helps. Um... I couldn't imagine if you tried jumping, you'd probably get sent to outer space. And just start running when you tell me to? The wind speed is controlled by a man who sits in a booth, out of sight, kind of like the Wizard of Oz. But when he turns up the dial, you can really feel it. Okay, all right. I survived. That's it's good. almost like trying to sprint while an invisible hand pushes you back. When they cranked it up, I could really feel it. It was hard, but you got to stay low or else it just blows you back. Yeah, that's the key in all of this. Jimmy Bestwick, who won several gold medals at last year's X Games, he's going to give that wind tunnel a shot this weekend. That fan, guys, actually goes up to 100 miles an hour, if you can believe that. Of course, for guys like me and some of the other guys that tried it today, about 60 to 65 miles an hour. And it makes you feel like you're a hamster stuck on a hamster <laughs> wheel. So You're a good it's sport, fun, John. Hey, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Were you able to breathe in there, though, with all that wind blowing you your face like that? Wow. You can. You can definitely do that, but uh, it's not easy. Okay. Thank you, John.